Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this video where we're going to give a definition of what general equilibrium in economics is. So a general equilibrium in economics is a allocation of goods and services supported by a unique price vector. That means we just have a set of prices that support a specific allocation of goods and service. Allocation just means who gets what, right? And that is coordinated by a particular price vector. And that coordination is the solution to every agent's objective problem. That's the key thing here. Not just one agent, not just two agents. Well, it could be two agents, but every agent in our economy's objective problem. Broadly speaking, it's a allocation of goods and services where consumers maximize their utility, firms maximize profits, and markets clear. Now, we could be dealing with a case where our economy is a endowment economy where we abstract from the whole concept of the firm in general, right? We can still have general equilibrium there in the case of an exchange economy. Um, we just would take out this second part over here. But usually, you know, this is the broadest definition that we go and have. So just to go and illustrate this uh, idea a little bit further, um, when we're going and we're looking for an equilibrium, we're looking for the solution to a maximization problem. And that solution is going to be chosen by a optimal, you know, set of inputs, right? So in this problem here, that's your standard uh, utility maximization problem where we're looking for this allocation here. That is our vector of goods and services, right? Which maximizes an individual's utility subject to its budget constraint. Or we can think about, you know, the firm's problem down here where it's looking to maximize its profits by choosing the optimal amounts of capital and labor. I like to go and think about these just, you know, exclusive allocation problems as man versus nature type problems that we go and have here. Cause it's not really thinking about, you know, people here. It's just thinking about one agent choosing a set of goods and services, right? Where we will get, you know, a price or an equilibrium vector, right? Or a vector of goods uh, that, go and maximize this utility or this this profit. So we're just thinking about where to go and put things, right? Subject to our budget constraint or our costs that we're going and facing. These are very, you know, static type things that we're dealing with. Now, in general equilibrium, I like to go and think about these as man versus their fellow type problem, where one agent is going to be constrained by the objective problem of another. So here we have the standard picture of a Edgeworth box, Edgeworth box right here. And that is the case where we see one agent, right? The utility of one agent being constrained, not only by the resources in the economy, but how another agent is going to want to go and get those resources there also. Now, um, I think one of the main things that would go and come to mind is, and if you're done a little bit of macroeconomics, um, some problems you just see uh, representative agent models there. Um, now, with regards to a representative agent, right, we're plugging effectively in multiple agents under a social planning function. So it's still under the same, you know, auspice of the general equilibrium uh, idea. And also behind a lot of these problems, there's also a firm that is there, but it's usually doing very simple things. So we're still looking for a general equilibrium and, you know, most of modern macro is in the idea of general equilibrium analysis here. So um, I hope this is, you know, a decent high level overview of what a general equilibrium is, what general equilibrium analysis is, and what partial equilibrium analysis is. I hope this video helped. Take care.